And there we go. We have our Poral batteries outside, all hooked up in series under a pile of ruined <laughs> SLAs. And I've got a couple of test subjects here, namely this old MSI 915P combo motherboard, one of these silly early 775 socket uh, stories that uh, came with DDR1 and 2 at the same time, although you can use both at once, and this is probably about as worthless as a motherboard can ever get, including its 3 GHz hyper-threaded Pentium 4 processor, and it's going to see its end right now. I'm not sure where I got this from actually, I might have bought this new sometime way back in the past. Either way, the fun thing about high voltage and high current, or rather high energy, stuff like this is that Basically, no matter what you do, something's going to explode. I mean, if you short these lead states, I've got some cheapo starter cables that do fit a bit of resistance in the path, thankfully. If you short these out across a ground plane, you're just going to end up with no ground plane. It'll literally explode the ground plane on the motherboard. I did some test exploding on this old 478 thing, and... Yeah, basically, if you accidentally shorted to ground, the ground would disappear and I'd have to reconnect the ground lead. So, let's hope I can do better on this one. Also, safety goggles. These electrolytics are probably going to explode in my face and I'd rather not have them in my eyes. Also, there's no point going on the top side since that will just uh, cause so violent arcing you can't see anything. I can't see anything. I may have lost the ground plane to the processor. This won't work anymore. I think we just desoldered our heatsink. There you go. Proper soldering techniques. There goes the north bridge. There goes the south bridge. I think we can call this one busted. Everything just turned to carbon and caught fire.
let's explain something else. How about a pinion free laptop with a smart card reader? I've taken the liberty of improving access. I think this thing actually works, but it's a pinion free laptop, who cares? This might be getting a bit difficult now. Wow, that's got to be some magnesium coating or something. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, spectacular. So that is, it's burning mighty hot. I think we might have a security hole.
Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I wouldn't want to cause a major fire. That's certainly impressive. Oh dear, my camera is covered <laughs> in exploding things. Well, there's certainly not a whole lot left of this thing. Well, that's certainly so. We have a goodbye to the old 12-volt system. Cheerio.